Hey, I'm Alexandra Harbushka, founder of Life with Herpes. All right, today we're gonna talk about celebrities that have herpes. Yeah, I'm talking celebrities. It's pretty exciting. All right, we idolize celebrities. We think of them and we go, oh my gosh, they're beautiful, they're rich, they've, uh, they're in the, the glamour, they're in the glitz, they're, I mean, they're celebs, right? As people, we idolize them. Well, one of the things we don't think about when we think about them is they are normal people. They, their shit stinks just like ours. They get sick just like we get sick. They even have herpes like we have herpes. So they are common people. I have to say, I had a really fun time pulling out this list and Googling it. I felt like I was like TMZ or Joan Rivers or whatever. I mean, it was, I had a fun time doing it. Even my videographer right now, he's like, I cannot wait for this episode because he's like, I want to know who it is. Don't tell me before. So everybody wants to know. And I am going to read it because I don't want to mess up on names. I don't want to forget anybody. I have them broken down into categories of oral herpes, genital herpes, and then we don't know where they have herpes, but they we know they have it. So here's the oral herpes. Joshua Jackson. Um, if you don't know who, who he was, I had to look him up. He, he was Pacey in Dawson's Creek. <laughs> but if you're at that generation, which I am, he also gave it to Katie Holmes because they kissed in Dawson's Creek. Uh, Kim Kardashian, interesting, didn't know that she had it. Rihanna, uh, remember Rihanna and Chris Brown got in that big fight over the Grammys and like she, someone hit someone. Remember that whole, th I don't remember the whole story, but she didn't end up going to the Grammys because someone gave someone herpes during the whole fiasco. Uh, the Beckhams, David and Victoria Beckham also have oral herpes. They've been photographed with an outbreak. Um, so those like, just right there, those are some beautiful, successful, hot people, right? All right, now let's get to genital herpes. We have Ursher, Usher, however you wanna say it. He always is, I just watched the movie where he's like, Ursher baby, so Usher. Usher has it, we all know, well, we, maybe we don't know, but he was just sued in the last year or two for giving somebody herpes, so Ursher, Usher. Usher. David Hasselhoff, if you don't know who he is, he is the Baywatch lifeguard, he's the guy. So David and his former wife, I don't know her name, they both have genital herpes. Okay, this is another good one. Dennis Rodman, genital herpes. Michael Vick, NFL star, Michael Vick. And then this was a ra like random one, Liza Minnelli. I mean, where does that come from, right? Liza Minnelli, where did she show up? Okay, these are people we're not sure where they have it. Either they've been photographed with a prescription of Valtrex in their purse or in their, you know, medicine cabinet, or there's been like he said, she said, you know, things going on. But Paris Hilton, Britney Spears, Chris Humphreys, he was married to Kim Kardashian. He also was a sued or an allegation of giving herpes to someone. Again, we don't know where he has it. Um, but he was sued for that. This is a good one, Michael Jackson. Who knew Michael Jackson had herpes? He also was sued for giving somebody herpes. We, I don't know how it all ended. Uh, Pamela Anderson, Tommy Lee, as we know, they were married at one point, so they both had it as well. Don't know who, where, what. Uh, Kate Moss, she's a beautiful supermodel. Again, I don't know where. This is another interesting one, Robin Williams. Pretty successful guy, funny guy. He also was in a lawsuit for, um, I, uh, I don't wanna quote it, I think it was a, I don't wanna quote anything. He was in a lawsuit um, for giving somebody herpes, so not sure. Janet Jackson, also the Jacksons are big in the herpes family. Mary-Kate Olsen, remember the Olsen twins? They never smile anymore after being on Full House. So Mary-Kate has herpes. Cheryl Crow. Haven't heard that name in a while, Cheryl Crow. Billy Idol, great guy, right? Well, I don't know him, but Billy Idol. I think it's genital for him because he talked about how having herpes has, you know, is his way of saying like, gotta come down on my sex life. But again, that could be oral herpes as well because of oral sex. I'm not sure, it didn't specifically say. Lindsay Lohan, right? Remember she was a big party girl uh, in her 20s and she also has it. So these are some people where 
We don't know where they have it. We can guess, we can speculate. All right, now here is a big one I wanna cover. Derek Jeter, he has his own category. All right, professional athlete, Derek Jeter. He is known for being a playboy. He's known for dating, also very beautiful women. And he is allegedly given all of these women herpes. Now it did not say oral genital. I'm assuming genital because they said genital herpes, but again, we can't assume. Jessica Alba, Jessica Biel. He was big on the Jessicas for a while. Vanessa Milano, did I say that right? Manello, whatever. I can't pronounce her name right. Vanessa, Scarlett Johansson, Adriana Lima, right? All beautiful women. Now, when I researched it, when I Googled it, when I you know, re researched different articles, they all say that these women have it because they dated him. Now, as we know, for example, just because you date someone doesn't mean that you're gonna give them herpes. These are all speculations. So it wasn't saying like, for sure this person has it. They're saying these women have it because they dated Derek Jeter. So for example, my husband does not have herpes and we've been married and we've been together for five years. So like, just because you date someone doesn't have it. They also threw in their husband. So like Justin Timberlake and Nick Lachey, they're saying that they also have it because now they're married to people that have it. Again, that's just speculation. I wanna use that as an example to say, hey, just because you're with someone, just because you're dating someone, just because you have it, doesn't mean your spouse, your partner, anybody you live with, someone that you are you share things with, doesn't mean they're gonna pick it up, your children, whoever it is, right? So just don't speculate, don't jump to conclusion, don't assume you're gonna pass it to them. But I just found this so interesting. So I'm curious to know who surprised you, who shocked you that they have herpes, oral, genital, all this, um, yeah, I just had a fun time doing it. My point in this is how common herpes really is and how many people really have it, right? I wanna get back to that. These are, these are people that we see in the spotlight. We see them all the time in the tabloids or on TMZ, whatever. It's so common. And this is one of the things that I like to talk about in our community, in our, in our membership. We talk about how common herpes really, really, really is. So. If you're not a member of our community, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'd like to invite you to do so. So head on over to lifewithherpes.com, check it out. It is a membership. We have hundreds of people in there and it's just a great place to talk about this stuff. The other night when I was pulling up the names, we were, we do our Monday night calls. I'm like, guys, you're never gonna guess who has herpes. Like, again, I got so excited about it. Anyways, I will see you all in the next video. Hope you had fun with this one. I certainly did and I'll see you soon. All right, I just got done recording with Jenna Roberts. She is a member of the Secret Society and she talks about how being a member of the Secret Society truly empowers her, gave her growth, allowed for friendships. It is such a great podcast interview. I would love for you to go check it out if this, what you just watched here on this YouTube video, uh, you want more, you want more nitty gritty, you wanna know more about the Secret Society, all that. I mean, she talks about how we get stuck in this like, why me phase and how, you know, we, we take forever to get over the healing of learning and just this journey and being alone. Anyways, I can go on and on and on, but why don't you just go check it out yourself? I have it linked for you here and go check it out. It's such a great episode. Bye.